Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you a brand new feature inside Photoshop CC 2019 and it's, I'm going, I love it to be honest, and uh, it's HDR panorama. So basically you take some HDR shots, panorama, and then basically Lightroom and Camera Raw does all the work for you. So first of all I'm going to show you something. So I took some photos here and I have one, two, three, four, five five photos, all the different exposures, one stop apart. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them and what will happen is I'm going to get an error, but I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to right click, photo merge, HDR panorama. And as you can see, enable to detect HDR exposure bracket size. Uh, what this is, is basically because it's only one stop apart, uh, Lightroom is working only when it's two stops apart. Don't ask me why. Uh, sometimes I like to take some photos, especially night shots. I like to take one stop apart and this is a bit of an issue for me, but it still works, still does a very good job. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the darker version, middle range and the brighter. So now I have uh, three photos of each one. So dark, mid-range, brighter, dark, mid-range, brighter, dark, mid-range, brighter, dark, mid-range, and there you go. So now we have three photos of each photo, uh, two stops apart. So now I'm just going to right click and photo merge and merge to a GR panorama. And now as you can see, Photoshop will uh, actually, the Lightroom actually do its thing. So all, all of this depends on your machine and size of the files. I'm using a D800, so the files are quite big. So let's see through the magic, magic of editing. Uh, we'll be back soon. And here we are. Uh, so as you can see, did a quite nice job. This, this was shot actually handheld. So obviously to achieve better results use a tripod and as you can see by default auto settings it's on so I'm going to untick that because what it does is it will once we ex merges it will auto correct the image so you know adjust contrast the highlights shadows etc so auto crop as well I leave it unticked because I want to have full control over in Lightroom or if I take it to Photoshop so now I'm just going to merge and let's work on the image and here it is, the image. So now I'm just going to double click and I'm going to develop settings. And now I can just play a bit more with the image. So as you can see, it looks, doesn't look very good, but bear in mind one thing, this is a DNG. So it's quite cool. So I'm going to the light. I'm going to just bring down the highlights. And as you can see, it just brings some nice detail to the sky. I'm just going to bring the exposure down a touch. And now I'm just going to open up the shadows like so, add some clarity and let's go remove chromatic aberration, enable lens profile corrections and auto transform. Cool. So now we have these parts right here. So all we have to do is once my Lightroom comes back to normal, we just select the crop tool. There we go. So we select the crop tool Bear in mind that this file is huge. So there you go, crop tool. Now I can just come like so. And like so, and done. And there it is, a nice panorama in HDR. Super easy to do. It may take a bit of time depending on your machine and your file size, but uh, it's quite cool. It's quite cool, hopefully they'll get Incorporating a newer version that we can uh, just photograph, take multiple exposures one stop apart. Until then, we just have to play with, uh, like this, two stops apart. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with everyone. Thanks for watching, bye. See you next time. Bye for now.